So the last part of our presentation is about strengthening boundaries. And this section is not rocket science, but it does take a lot of willpower. So I always talk about putting yourself first. I've been having a real big struggle with this. I have a lot of major life events happening. I'm planning a wedding. I'm moving. I'm selling my house. I'm doing an expansion. I'm like super stressed out. So I did kind of like gain a little weight, been putting myself last, been a little bit more stressed than usual, been eating a lot. You know, I've been having my struggles too, but I know that putting myself first is key. And when I put myself first in those moments, those are the moments when I really find myself making progress and being happy. I talk about putting yourself first as putting your health first. And what that looks like is physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. So I've made a list of a few ways you could focus on those areas of your health. I also recommend listening to episode number 31 of the podcast. I'm going to write that on my notes here. Episode 31. It's called the one thing that will change everything. And it's about putting yourself first. Ways you can put your physical health first is by working out regularly, eating healthy, maintaining a healthy weight. I know there's a lot of body positivity stuff going around on Instagram. I know that there's a lot going on about embracing our bodies. And I totally think that's amazing. Whatever a healthy way that you and your doctor agree on and you're healthy with, I think that that's great. I think striving for health is very important though. Um, I very much so not for the way that I look, but for my health strive to be at a certain weight range so that I can be healthy. Getting enough sleep is really important. It's hard to do all of these things if you're actually exhausted. Keeping up with your doctor's appointments. I recently just booked dermatologist, dentist, gyno, and general doctor appointment. Really important to book your doctor's appointments and eye doctor. Brush and floss, drink water, eat green vegetables, and set boundaries. For your mental health, talking about your feelings with a therapist, staying active, eating well, really important for your mental health as well, your diet. Avoiding alcohol and drugs, taking breaks and taking actual time off, asking for help when you need it, living in consultation. You know, I wrote in the beginning of our presentation I went from being completely burnt out to living in consultation, asking for help and advice and opinions. Like I don't have to know everything. Reaching out to friends, maintaining those relationships. It's not everybody else's responsibility to maintain the relationship. Doing things that you love, practicing self-care, giving back, setting boundaries. Emotional health, being mindful of your emotions and reactions and really thinking about your emotions. Like, oh my gosh, am I being emotional right now? Am I reacting or am I processing this? Expressing your feelings in appropriate ways. Learning to manage your stress. Taking care of your physical and your mental health will help your emotional health. Finding your true purpose, growing your circle of friends, surrounding yourself with people who know your story so you don't feel so alone. Embrace your feelings as a gift. Understanding the eight basic emotions and their gifts, which is an amazing resource I'm including in your course content. It's so good. It's also from Pia Melody, but she breaks down the eight basic emotions and all of their gifts. So like, what are the gifts of anger? What are the gifts of shame? What are the gifts of guilt? What are the gifts of sadness, loneliness, all of these things. And she breaks down the eight basic emotions where and how we feel them and their gifts. And it's awesome. And I included that on your course content. 
connect to spiritual health. So I think if you're going to strengthen your boundaries and if you're going to have great boundaries, you have to be strong enough to hold the boundary. And you can only do that if you put yourself first. And these are just ways you can do that. So spiritual health and explore your spiritual core. Who are you? Embrace your spirituality. Look into your spirituality. Practicing yoga and meditation, looking for the deeper meaning in everything. Like I always say, life is not happening to us. It's happening for us. Like, why is this happening? There must be a reason this is happening. How is this teaching me? What is this teaching me? How am I learning from this? Traveling, thinking positively, being in the present moment, practicing gratitude. So incredibly important to be grateful for everything you have and not focused on what you don't have. Forgiveness and setting boundaries. So we have reached the Q&A section and I'm going to leave this QR code up for you guys. If you, for you all, if you want to look into mastermind, we're going to be doing pricing essentials live in July and it's going to be amazing. I already shared with you those dates. We're going to be doing adaptive consultations live in August. And we have so many amazing things. I just showed you kind of the things we have going on in mastermind. Go back. And I'm going to go into the Q&A section. So if you have questions, feel free to submit them in the Q&A. And I'm going to get to as many as I can, and we're going to end right at three. 